looking to Cheltenham, you're, you're going to go there with two sort of live prospects, definitely red and Forrest Behan. <coughs> definitely red. He, he had a race course gallop at Doncaster just a couple of weeks ago. How did that go? Oh, it, it went really well. Um, Brian Hughes rode him. Um, really happy with him. Uh, so, and he's fit. You know, he's also well, he's worked well since. And, um, and I think he's better this year than he was last year. Uh, you know, he, he, entry, I thought he was very impressive. Um, Danny never had to touch him. And he gave a horse out with second in the King George, give a six pound and beat it. Uh, the form, he, he's in great form anyway. So. And this year, he looks, he looks fantastic. Um, so we're very awful. And you touched on Danny, sort of match made in heaven, the two of them. Yeah, Danny likes them kind of horses because he's always behind the bridle and he suits him. He suits his style, uh, gets on great with him. Um, I don't know, I think he's won 78 graded races on him, you know. So. And his form's rock solid. Uh, looking at the Gold Cup, you think he's a little bit of a big price, a bit underappreciated maybe? Well, he, he probably is, you know, he, he finished sixth in it last year and uh, going there on the back of a hard race in the Coxwall and heavy ground. Hopefully this year it's better ground. We're, we're not fooling ourselves, it's going to be a hard race, you know, it's very competitive. Um, but I think the key, the key would be the ground. You know, heavy ground, probably last year's favourite. Last year's winner would probably take all the beating and it was, it was good, good soft ground. We'll see. And you think, granted those conditions, there's a chance he could improve on that sixth place? Yeah, I think he's better than last year. He's definitely in better form last year. And the last Go Cup winner for the North wasn't trained too far from here. Yeah, <laughs> Peter so, Bowman. Yeah, yeah so it'd be nice, nice to have another That'd one. Be lovely, it'd be fantastic. Um, we just basically want to um, go there with a live chance and Hopefully he runs his race and, uh, you know, finishing the first four, you know, and he's glad and he does, does a great job on him. He, he rides him out every day, he looks after him. Um, it's just nice that we've got, we've got him, you know. And another horse for Phil and Julie Martin, Forrest Behan, he's here, Mark, for the festival? Yeah, well, he's a bit different, he's a bit more quirky. Um, he, he needs to go left-handed, he needs good ground or quick ground. Um, uh, obviously he's in the champion chase and he, he'll have an entry for the handicap so we'll see how the champion chase cuts up. And that'll be the grand annual for him as an alternative option? Yeah. You think uh, the fast pace of a Cheltenham race would really help him? Uh, just... They can't go fast enough for him, yeah. he's so many gears. Um, he's quick enough to win on the flat. And he uh, ran well when second at Doncaster last month. Yeah, I mean, it went, uh, the time was fantastic, um, very, very quick. And he just still went there on the bridle. Um, he gave the winner something like 20-odd pound, um, 19 pounds a mere. Um, but he, he, you know, he, he came back country. Uh, but he has his quirks. Whether it was a weight I beat him or he just didn't want to go by, we're not, we're not sure, but... Um, we're, we're, made, we're, not, we're talking about changing a bit of headgear, so we'll see. What might you go for? I uh, don't know, I might work with pair of visors on or something. Um, I just, I'll, you know, he's had his wind done, we might put a tongue strap on him, see if that makes a difference. But like, the speed of the race won't bother him, he's so quick. And he'll go straight there? Each one straight there, yeah. <laughs>